So today on uh, Perturbed Scientist's Theater, I'm going to make a, what I call a glow box. It's just a nice little way to have a, a, a lighting solution that uh, doesn't show off any torches or flames or any of that kind of stuff. So you'll see at night, but uh, let's just make one now. It's very easy to make. You uh, put down some cubes, and you put down ladders go I mean ladders yeah stairs going in and by the way with stairs uh, stair placement is now really easy you basically just need to be facing um, the right direction and it'll put the stair in the right way so like for example here if I do it it's going to you know just put it in the right way basically and let's put a torch in the middle and we're just gonna finish it off And that's all there is to it. So now uh, we'll come back at night and uh, you'll see what, what it's doing. So here we are back at the glow box at night. And uh, now you know why I call it a glow box, because that's what it does. Basically these, uh, these stairs let light through. And so they, uh, they let light through and they illuminate the outside too. So that's how that works. And just to show a few more glow box kind of experiments. You can do this also with uh, stone stairs, so you get this glow. So just uh, just these center pieces right here are stair pieces. And over here uh, my assistant has made some other glow boxes. And so here's one above, above ground. Here's a half height one, and you have to put in a piece of glass so that the, uh, the light can come in through the stairs. And then there's the, the full uh, flush to the ground one. And uh, you have to make them too deep, but it's cool. It gives off light in this area, and it's uh, nice and just flush to the ground, and you don't see any of those torches or other medieval paraphernalia. And uh, you can also do things like make walls out of stairs, and you can get... And so I put a ba basically I put a bunch of torches inside this place, and you get this effect too just to show a few more things that you can do with the, the glow box idea, which I did not invent, by the way. I just found on the forums and uh, thought it was so cool. I've been trying out all kinds of things. Anyway, one is that you can make uh, walls. You may notice that this place is lit, but there's no torches here. And uh, the simple secret is that there's a long row of steps here and uh, a long row of torches, and so you get this kind of uniform, nice uniform lighting on the outside. Here's a similar kind of thing where the uh, the lighting's uniform and there are no torches. Where basically it's very simple. The uh, now let's just let's poke a hole for you. So what this is is again just a series of steps, series of torches, and that's how the lighting works. So if you just spend a little bit of extra effort, you can actually make this uh, these lighting solutions pretty easily. You don't have to go crazy and replace, you know, the whole roof with a whole bunch of torches as we just showed. So here's, you know, the Mark 1 where you have the torch hitting you in the head as you walk by. Here's the Mark 2 where you recess the light a bit. Um, well, but we can do better than that. So uh, here I'd like to put a torch and I want to put it two, two blocks up um, and then put a uh, step over it. Um, however, to do that safely, you want to put a torch at your feet because you never know if there's gravel up there. and Hint, yes, there's gravel up there because I put it up there. So what happens if you dig to the gravel? What happens is it hits the torch as it comes down and uh, and pops out, basically, and uh, doesn't kill you. And so now, uh, now I can put a torch up there, and I can put a step up there, and I can get rid of this guy just to prove that it works. And sure enough, there's some light. Um, just a uh, another little pro tip here is it turns out that uh, if you actually have a, um, a railroad underneath you, that also does a, does a job on, uh, on gravel. So let's just kick up. This gravel hits down, and when it hits the railway, it, uh, it also disperses. Um, my final pro tip is you go, yes, but what about, what about if there's water up there? Well, basically, you can uh, just put a sign on the wall above where you're digging, and... Uh, and I have a railway underneath me, so it's safe against gravel. And if I dig up, and hey, gee, there's water up there, but the water is stopped by the uh, 
by the little sign there. So as my final little thing, I thought I'd show off what you can really do with this. You can, uh, you can go wild and uh, do things like cover islands with, with uh, wood and get this whole sort of torch effect going on. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the tour.